Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Seattle Mariners. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. Singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat, Luke Rayleigh. He, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. Just about ready to roll. And today's starter, number 33. Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. One of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. All right, ready to go here. Here's Nico Horner. Nico Horner. And a pitch. Liner, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now a chance to maybe get creative on off. Horner on the go. Hey. Swing and a miss. Throw oh, safe. Well, he's batting leadoff, and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. Corner stands at second with no outs. That clips the corner. But he's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Wow, just a great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Cody Bellinger stands in now and watches strike one. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, One then you got a chance. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Save the no. third moves up on the pass ball. Looked like that four-seamer just kept rising on him, and he couldn't get the mid up in time to catch it. Kind of makes me wonder if that was a cross-up or maybe just way more run than he was expecting. Either way, he should have had it. This ball's chopped on the ground. Crawford sends it across the first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. The designated hitter, Patrick Wisdom. And up next for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. And he's the home run leader on this team, Singy. Wisdom, a powerful designated hitter, batting in the cleanup spot, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. No, that's on the ground to the left, and that's just foul. And the pitch. Yeah. And that one clips the corner. One and ball, one and two. Two strikes. Hey. And looking for the kill. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. One run, one hit, no errors, and nobody left on. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Cubs one and the Mariners nothing. in Seattle and on the mound in this one Jamison Tyon what do you have on him Siggy 
Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. It's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a jet. Bottom of the first. Here's Josh Rojas. The wind of the pitch. Off the mark there. Ball one. And another ball. Right through there for a strike. Not even close there. And that's ball three. to right. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He needed out one. It's been a tough oh, stretch to play play. Oh, 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 oh. that pitch on the outside. Oh, oh, oh. He was still able to square oh, oh. it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Softly to the right side, and he picks it up in foul territory. Zone. By the time it got to the plate, people at home watch it. I think it's a swinging at it. But I'll tell you, some of the great guys now on these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Rodriguez, it is third season. 23 years old and he was selected to the all-star game last year tying run is at first here in the second game of the series and a swing and a line drive at a right field he makes the catch and there's two down that is cool. the catch. now Scott service lined up for the Seattle Mariners Hoping for a good showing in this one from their cleanup hitter, Cal Raleigh. Yeah, but he just hasn't been himself at all lately. I mean, it's hard to know if it's mechanical, if it's mental. It's just a struggle all the way around. It's something that everybody goes through. I think the key is you've got to stick to the process. You've got to focus on every pitch and don't worry about the result. Take it one pitch at a time, one at bat at a time. Cal oh, Raleigh no in play. now. Takes ball one off the plate. There's a strike. Two outs. He swings and fouls one off. Right hander kicks deals. That one to first, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Rojas leads off first with two down to the inning. That one not close, and the count is two and two. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. One hit, one left. We'll head to inning number two at T-Mobile Park. It's the Cubs one and the Mariners nothing. 
And welcome back to the ballpark. Now, here is Dansby Swanson. The right-hander back to work. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. And a one two. slider right there and I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone and right there excellent execution and it finished up in a perfect spot Ian Hat at the plate now as he chases after that one Cubs made Ian Happ a first-round pick in 2015. He played at the University of Cincinnati as an infielder, played a little bit of outfield, but a guy in 2022, what a year, Chris, both an all-star and a gold glover. Wouldn't chase that time. Yeah, and wins that gold glove as a left fielder, and it's a guy that was a pretty good center fielder as well, but... You know, one of the things for him is just being able to be in the same spot Whoa, every day. I think it increases the comfort level and allows that athletic ability to really shine. One down, base is empty. Strike two. Twins and misses. It's a strikeout. The string of the changeup. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Christopher Morell in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two out spaces empty. Kicks and deals. Bates and misses. It's a strikeout. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Bottom half of inning number two. Now the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. He's hitting for that pop. Came up against really strong. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, no, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Morell makes the grab. And there's one down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Jorge Polanco stands in here, takes ball one low. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. And that one wrapped foul. And here it comes. And there's a foul ball. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And a curve misses outside. The Mariners down by a run here in the second game of the series. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. Well, a 
swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now the first baseman, Ty France. Fouled off, he was late. Man at second. Swinging a foul straight back. Hater deals and it squirts away from Bones. A wild pitch and the tying run is now 90 feet away. Well, he's got nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home all sorts of ways now. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when they're runners on base. Polanco stands at third with one gone in the inning. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And that one in the air center field. Bellinger makes the grab. Runner tags from third. Lay it through. Play. Not in time. He's safe. We're tied at one. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough. And that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. In there at the knees for a strike. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Bounce to the right, corner. And that is that. But they push across one run. One hit, no errors, no one left. We played two full, all tied 1-1. Here with my pal Ziggy, top half of the third the inning. So up now Yon. for Chicago, Jan Yon. Gomes. The pitch. Ball Good one, no one. strikes. And that one fouled off. Just off the outside edge. And yeah, that's ball two. And another ball. That's a slider for a strike. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. And next for the Cubs, Matt Mervis. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Tied up here in the early going. Hot 
shot to third. Wide throw, and it gets away. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Now that second base, Nico. Nico Horner, the next cup to hit, scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Right through there for a strike. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. The next offering misses. One and one. One, one now. All two. Good spot for the hitter. One Definitely strike. has the advantage in this Cal with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And there's a ball. Righty to the plate. And fouled off. The pitch. And he strikes he goes. And that is a big first out. A really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. The long side command, fastball, firm to the outside corner. I'll tell you what, very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. With two on, one out. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. That Eight. one finds the corner. It's 0-1. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Rudders at the corners, one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. with that one now one and two we'll chase that time two two Bounced up the middle. Oh, he gloves it. Quick feed to second for one. Double play. What a great killing to end the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this jam. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the third baseman, Luis Orias. Tying back to work. And the oh, first pitch great. misses for ball one. Fall off foul. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Fly ball down the line. And yeah, that drops foul. a one two Three. swings through it and that's a strikeout definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there I don't think that's a strike if he takes it pretty textbook pitching get ahead in the count get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage yes. at it for the second time and that's strike one One out, base is empty. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. 
Makes the grab. And that quickly two away. And now for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. Struck out swinging his first time. That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike one. That one is hammered right field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning trap. We played three full innings and we're tied at one. As we go to the top of the fourth. So up now for Chicago, Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger. And he deals. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Rodriguez reaching back towards the wall. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track that's right that's away. That's turned that's his back that's on that's the that's infield. Got to the that's spot. That's turned around and made that's a that's nice that's catch. So now here's the DH. Patrick Wisdom. His first at bat was a strikeout. Hey. Yeah. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. The wind of the pitch. Hey. And strike two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. And Ooh, that's off the, the inside edge. Going to count one and two. The wind of the pitch. Not even close there. Two and two. Small gone, belted. Rodriguez drop step going back. To the warning track, makes the catch. Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. First pitch, and he just misses. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. One ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Two, one. Swing and a miss. Hogan, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. The left field. So, man aboard, in half, up to hit. Struck out swinging his first time. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Here's the third baseman, Christopher Morell. Swings through that one for strike one. On one. Two on, two outs. That one's in there, and it's not even two. Well, 
this is a higher leverage spot, and I wonder whether he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch nope. sequence. Oh, wow. Just missed. Man, oh, man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Strike three. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And we're back. Bottom of the fourth, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Julio Rodriguez. And a pitch. Great strike right there. Well, these Mariners, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. He was all over that. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. He's over one. Little chopper rolls foul. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. And the righty deals. And it's in there, and it's 0-2. Got him looking for the K. Just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. And stepping in for the Mariners, Luke Rayleigh checks over to first, back safely. Pitch is in there. And it's a one one. Really? In his second season, 29 years old, and he's put together some good swings lately with five home runs in his last 10 games. Rodriguez, at first, one gone. Line drive. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Around third. The relay, and he's out. A lot of real estate to cover on that play defensively. A long throw to the cutoff, man, and then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out of the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. The batter now, Jorge Polanco, doubled in his first A.B. Ball one there. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Two outs. Two and out. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Fouled off. He was late. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Man on second, two down. Hey. That clips the corner.
Man at second. Pitches in the dirt. Three balls, two strikes. Goes down looking. adrenaline we can see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning Back at T-Mobile Park ready now for the fifth the inning catcher. and here's the catcher Jan, Jan Gomes the pitch That's nope, off that's the mark, ball. and that's ball one. You know, these Cubs looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. No, he's safe. I don't have the numbers to back this up or anything, but I think pitchers who tend to rack up a bunch of strikeouts sometimes end up with more errors behind them in the field just because the defenders aren't as involved in the game. They're not as sharp, and who knows if that played any factor there, but I think there could be something to it. Now, Matt Mervis. Inside, Inside just missed. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. Swings and misses. And the count one and one. Three. And another ball. Going to lay off that pitch down. Line drive, base hit into the outfield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. First pitch misses. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. The 1 1. And this is inside. No outs, runners at first and second. Next pitch is outside. Seiya Suzuki in the on deck circle. On the ground left side, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. That's a huge pitch right there. It looked like it was going to be a big inning, but you get the double play. I guess you'd say here's a chance for the next guy to pick up his teammate there. And up next for Chicago, Seiya Suzuki. On the corner for a strike. Two outs and a runner at third here in the second game of the series. And that one fouled off. Two outs. One ball, two strikes.
in the air right side makes the catch in a goal. Cubs leave one score remains tied 1-1. Be my addiction show me what I'm missing show me how you listen this is my addiction I know that I'm missing this Back in Seattle, and here's the first baseman, Ty France. Ty back to work. That one finds the zone. 1-1. One, one. Well, these Mariners just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. The pitch. Ball one. One ball, two strikes, you count. And it <laughs> skips into dirt. This one popped up. Morell has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open, backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. There's a strike. This game has been so tight, it feels like the next team to score will win it. Good eye in that spot. That clips the zone. And the count on the two. A one two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Way outside. Two balls, two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Kicks and fires. Right through there. Got him. Two gone. Here's Luis Arias. A little bit high, maybe, and it's one to know. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Next offering misses, and now two and oh. And there's a strike on the outside corner. The two one. Two two count. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Still two and two after the foul ball. to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. Nothing across here this half. We're through five. All tied 1-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bellinger up to hit. Bellinger's won a variety of awards in his career, hasn't he? I mean, he's been named Rookie of the Year, MVP, and Comeback hey. Player of the Year now. Throwing a few Silver Slugger awards, and he has himself quite the trophy cabinet. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Austin Volk appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Stout getting cranked up as well. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. And there's one down. Now, now, now. designated hitter, Patrick. Patrick. So digging in, Patrick Wisdom. 
He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And a pitch. Come back her to the mound. Sends it to oh. first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Now that the good one. Dansby Swanson stands in. One for two. Swanson, former first round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, College World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. On the ground, Rojas. Now the throw to first on the run. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. So they go quietly there. Top of the order, two up in the home half of the sixth. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Back here with my pal Siggy to the batter now, Josh Rojas. And the right hander back to work. And that one is in for a strike. It's just been an impressive outing so far. He continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Righty delivers. Foul ball there. And a pitch. And that's outside. And the count is one and two. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Julian Merriweather up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Almonte warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Right-hander kicks, deals. And another ball. And he walked him. Take your bait. Got a great back and forth and that at bad. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. The next day hit takes high for ball one. The pitch. And fouled off. going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Bounce to the right side. Into the outfield. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so great job there. Step up to the challenge. Kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. So up next, Julio Rodriguez. Hey. Right through there for a strike. 0 and 1. Front 
for strike two. Only two. That ball. one missed. One ball, two strikes to count. Two, two to count. This one in the dirt. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. Go ahead run at second here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a drive deep right field. Suzuki going back to the warning track. Makes the catch. Runner tags up for third. Yeah, we'll see if moving up to third there pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go, but now he can score in a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a base hit. We'll see what happens. Here comes Craig Council, and we're going to see a pitching change. That's all for Jamison Tyon, and that was a start he can feel pretty good about. Tie ball game, and new pitcher when we get back. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Drew Smiley. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Here's the catcher, Cal Raleigh. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Oh, the well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. One and one. ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Next Two offering ball. is downstairs. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Wouldn't it's chase that three. time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Fouls one away and now three and two. Rojas, the runner at third, Crawford at first, one gone. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Got him looking. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Oh, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You have the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, will still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. Digging in, Luke Rayleigh. Strike one. Oh, and one. And the pitch to the right side. What a stop. Takes it himself, and he got him. Nicely done at first for the out. Mariners leave a couple. Still tied. 1-1. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Austin Volk. Number 51. Austin. Here's the left fielder, Ian Happ. The left fielder, number eight, Ian Happ. Here comes a pitch. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. 
Foley, a 6'2 righty, 215 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. On a line, base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. The third base of the five. And next for the Cubs, Christopher Morell, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch, not close. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Pitches outside. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Right handed reliever. Aye. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Yeah, the right hander deals. Fouled off. He was late. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And that one cutting but missing down low. He's 0 for 1. That's a strike across the top of the zone. One away. Tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. Swing and a miss. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. At the belt and fires. That's down and in. Yad Gomes waits. Bounce to third. Urias. Off balance B, there's one. And that's two. Poetry in motion there is the second baseman. Turns the double play. Nice throw to first. And that's the way to end the inning. A sinker at the bottom of the zone. Just missed. The pitch. And right back to the mound. 
fires over He's to up. first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground down. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Right through there for a strike. Base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seventh. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. That one, one not close. Two one and two to count. Out towards right center field. Bellinger in a full sprint. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's two down. The bat. The right field. Mitch Hanniger up next Hanniger. to the Mariners. And there's a curve through for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Oh. Now wanted one. Oh. Outside. Oh. And now the lefty. That one fouled off two and two. Two outs. Three. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Mariners are down in order. Score remains deadlocked at one. Matt Brash taking over on the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. So up now for Chicago, Matt Mervis. And he deals. Swing and a miss, strike one. Boom, that's oh, cheddar, baby. Down. Right into the plate. And that is in for a strike. And the count is 0-2. And that one drifts inside. It's a good take. And the slider just misses. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Rodriguez hustles to get it in, and that holds the go-ahead run at second base. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Here's the Cubs leadoff man, Nico Horner. One for three. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. And we're in the top of the eighth. In for a strike. And it's 0 2. He's falling behind in a huge spot, but we've got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. There's a high knee pass from that to strikeout. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at-bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Seiya Suzuki, the next Cub to hit. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. 
Fastball for a strike. Going one. Swings through that one for strike two. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. On the ground the first. And it's just foul. That was close. And that one is lifted in the air. Hanniger sizing it up. He's got it. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up to third. Now two away. The center fielder, number 24, Cody. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck. Hit the ball right at people. Two outs. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. In to score is the runner from third. And a 2-1 ball game now. Well, really gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Patrick Wisdom, the next cup to hit. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he could turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. And there's a foul ball. Bellinger off of first with two away. Next offering is in for a strike. That's inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Throw over to first. He's Bellinger good. dives back. And here it comes. Pitch in the dirt. Two and it's two and two. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Brings it in for the third out. So one run in the inning on this base hit, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Hector Neris. Good. The best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So digging in, Luis Urias, corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And a pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Looking to get the tying run on base. Ball down the line. Suzuki on the move. Heading back. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. And the 2 Struck him out looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive. Back to the top of the Seattle order, Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. 
Hey. Fastball in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Trying to hold a one run lead here, in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Line drive. Makes the catch for the second out. Fell off the bat, it looked like they might get that tying run on base. Maybe even extra bases. No dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. And up next for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. a base hit and that keeps the inning alive a couple of hits in a row for him here and man I'll tell you a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good it's feedback that you have everything on time and in control you start to finish with your swing two outs runner first here's the center fielder Julio Rodriguez that catches the top part of the zone. Strike one. Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. Next Whoa, pitch is outside. With the tying run on at first, here in the second game of the series. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Gets down. Base hit. Bro stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. But everything was on time and blew it in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. Here's the catcher to hit. Cal Raleigh. First pitch doesn't find the zone. So the tying run at second. Fall off foul. Two outs. Oh, and that's outside. Out and the count's even at two. This one in the air right field. Suzuki going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Two left on. Through eight full. It's the Cubs two and the Mariners one. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Andres Munoz. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. So up now for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. The pitch. The yep. shortstop takes a ball. Whoa, and a good eye there. Out. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. The pitch. Hi. That's in there. And that's strike one. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Ball three. That misses the zone. And now three and one. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. And out of here. Third home run of the season, and they add a run. It's 3-1. A little more breathing room is always a good thing in baseball, and now they have it.
pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Ian Happ, the next cup to hit. That catches the corner. And the righty deals. And it's fouled away. In the air out towards right center. Rodriguez heads towards it. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get the about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Now the third baseman, Christopher Morell. Right through there for a strike. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. One down, base is empty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Righty delivers. That one, one just misses. Good spot one there, ball, but didn't strikes. get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Kicks and fires. Ball. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Two away. Now back. Catch it. Young. Young. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Jan Gomes. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Up oh, and in, 1-0. Oh. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Matt Mervis, the next cup to hit. On its way to the corner. Ray drifts towards it, and he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Gomes, the runner at first with two gone. And yeah, there's a ball. Well, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. That one, it's triple digits. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two outs and another ball. That is the 
solo shot stretches their lead even further. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Adbert Alzolay. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. Your attention, please. Now, pitching for Chicago, number 73, Adbert So digging in, Luke Rayleigh. There you go. For the Mariners, the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. And the pitch. It's a strike. And a foul ball. The pitch. One Not ball. close with two that strike. one. And it's one and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner with the two strikes. You just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Now it's the Mariners' DH, Jorge Polanco. Nope, just missed. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ah. And a big swing and a miss. Yeah, one ball, one strike. And ball now two. two and one. Two ball, one strike. Aye. And that's in there at the knees. Two ball, two strikes. Here's a 2-2. In the left center for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. It doesn't come naturally for most hitters. France in the box now, takes strike one. With the tying run at the plate, and the home team trying to pull it out. And that one goes straight to the backstop. Polanco in the scored position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. As a closer, he's out there in that role for a reason. But even they lose the handle on one here and there, especially with all the nasty stuff coming out of bullpens these days. He's making it a little interesting here. you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position in two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you've got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. So it's their last chance in this one. And now for Seattle, Mitch Hanniger. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And that one fouled off.
the tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. This could end it. Chop to third. Morell. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Cubs claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. This team has won the series with the win in this game today. So you got your eye on a sweep. It's not going to be easy to do. When you're on the road, home team is always fighting to keep themselves alive. So got to come out, execute, play really good baseball tomorrow to complete this sweep. And your final 3-1. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long from T-Mobile Park in Seattle. The final line score tonight, first for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Three runs on nine hits, no errors. They left eight runners on base. For the Mariners, one run, eight hits, three errors. They left seven runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. Thanks for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please.